Hey guys, I'm Jordan and you're watching Fixbook. But 10 seconds before we get started, I made this video to help you, so please help me if it helps you. It only takes a second or two, it's a great help if you subscribe, like, and or leave a comment down below. That's it, let's get started. So on today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to replace your spark plugs for your car in general. And I say in general because this is kind of like a generalized video showing you how to remove your spark plugs because on about 90% of the cars, uh, it's pretty much all the same. You remove your plug wire, uh, stick your socket down in there, uh, take the plug out, and that's what this is going to be today. I also have another video showing you how to remove spark plugs with the coil over plug style spark plug. So the difference is between those two is whatever is that the there's actually like an ignition coil setting over top of the spark plug. So you have to actually remove that to get to the spark plug. So if you have that style, you can check out the link which will take you to that video and you can watch that. But for today, we're just going to be looking at your regular spark plug. Well, let's go ahead and take a look. And what you guys need for today is a 3 8 ratchet, an extension, a spark plug socket, a spark plug gapper, and some anti-seize from Permatex. Okay guys, so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and pull one of your plugs off here, like so. I'm just going to lay them off to the side then. You're going to take your extension with your spark plug socket, go ahead and set it down in there, and then make sure you can get on your spark plug and make sure it's the right size there. So as you can see, I'm on the spark plug and I can feel it's on there. Then you'll go ahead and take your ratchet, hook it up there, and if it's hot, you may want to let it cool down before you do this because uh, it could be an aluminum head, cylinder head, and they're really sensitive so you don't want to rip the threads out along with the spark plug. So make sure your engine's cool before you do this procedure. So next, I'm going to go ahead and just take them on out there. Okay guys, so I'm going to go ahead and finish removing this guy. So, and if you have a good spark plug socket, then it will kind of grab the spark plug so when you take it out, it pulls it out with it so you don't have to stick your magnet in there and pull it out. So I'm going to go ahead and pull it out like that. And next you'll look right here, you'll see it's kind of gray and ashy. Sometimes it'll be gray and ashy, sometimes it'll be black, and sometimes it'll be moist. You can tell there's been oil getting in the combustion chamber. So the spark plug tells tales. Now, the next thing we must do is we got to find this guy right here. And what we'll find down there, I'll give you a better close-up here in just a second, but it'll tell you a gapping number. And there's different things on your hood, and sometimes you'll find it down there. But uh, for us, it's going to tell us the spark plug gap over here. Okay, guys, so here we are, and we found where it says spark plug. And we'll look over here, and it says gap. And it says 1.1 millimeters. So... My spark plug measuring guide doesn't actually measure in millimeters, but rather in inches. So what we'll do is, I've got my gapper right here. You're going to take that little gap and you're going to stick it over this thing. And then you'll twist and that'll separate the metal piece from the electrode thingy, which makes a spark. And you're widening or making it smaller. And... So we'll do that and that will we'll set it to the correct spark plug gap. Okay, so here we are with the spark plug and gapper. And as you can see, there's a gap right there between the metal claw and the electrode. And you're going to stick that on here. And the new one is probably going to be not gapped enough. So you're going to stick it in here. And then you're going to slide it across here until it gets to the right point And... You're going to pull it off, and as you can see, this gradually gets thicker and thicker, so you're able to gap it more. And I looked it up, I googled 1.1 millimeters, which comes out to 0 0.043 inches, so that mark is, there's 0 0.04, so that mark is about right there, where my thumb is, so I would take it right here, I would scoot it all the way over to about right there, and make sure it's right there, and then I'd pull it off. Now, if you're just taking these off and inspecting them, what you can do is you can come down here and just kind of, let me get it better, there we go, you can tap it down, and that's going to close the gap, so let's see here, so now our gap is closed a little bit more, so I'm going to stick it in here, and then I will come all the way, oh, over 
and now I've re widened it there to the point uh, 043 which it needs to be so that's how you gap your spark plug once you've done that with your new spark plug you're just gonna go ahead and stick it back in there like we took it out and make sure it doesn't drop in there because if it does you can close this claw and that will cause a skip because there's not going to be able to be a spark there so just make sure you stick it back in there uh, twist it back in tight not too tight and then you'll put your plug wire back in also at your local parts store they sell the stuff called anices and it's gray and you can apply that on there and that will prevent it from uh, pulling the threads out when you go to take it out next time because you can't just simply repair your spark plug threads um, in a simple way you generally are going to replace your cylinder head when you do that so that's why they they put the anices on there and you're trying to prevent damage to your cylinder head so that's it for today guys and i thank y'all for watching and i'll see you next time well guys unfortunately that's all the time i have for today i hope you guys enjoyed this video just as much as i did making it and fortunately you can catch me again right here on facebook tomorrow on my next video just don't forget to subscribe like and leave lots of comments down below well, thanks again, guys, for watching, and see you tomorrow right here on Facebook.